What's going on everybody? How's everybody been? If you haven't been to my channel yet, you're here with Daddy Dentures. Good for, uh, if you're just now joining, as you can hear. I don't have my teeth in, so I'm kind of whistling when you talk. Um, so it's going on about three months and two weeks now. Um, it's been about a month since I did an update. Um, the reason why I'm doing this update today is to let y'all know that I am here today at the dentist's office for another reline. Um, I think last time I got a reline was a month ago. Sometime in April, I think. April 1st. So a little bit over going almost two months. Um, so every time you get a reline, it seems like you'll need one every two months after getting a reline. Because that's how about fast your gum shrink. Um... So, uh, some things I can probably talk about, it's been about a month, um, I had some ups and downs with dentures for the last month, um, when you hit your three months mark, your, um, your gums are starting to heal up a little bit better, I can kind of show you, um, some results of, uh, three months and two weeks worth of, um, healing. Get this, uh, light on so you can kind of see. I don't know if you can see that good. I'm kind of sitting in my car right now. See if I can kind of get a um, a better um, camera view of that. So yeah. So about three months your gums are pretty much healed up pretty good. Um, now they're just shrinking a little bit, so now you have to go through the shrinking process. Um, so, camera space are running low. So, some things I, I don't really like now, after three months with dentures, is that, um, that they start to be more bigger in your mouth. So, you're going to start looking like, uh, you're from Planet of the Apes a little bit. Your gums are going to kind of stick out a little bit, and your, um, teeth are going to stick out a little bit, a little bit more. Um, here's my dentures right here. This is what it looks like, that first free line in it. I can kind of show you. They just slide right out. Now you can see. I'm on lips. Sorry about that. My, um, I always lose memory on my phone. So, kind of show you a little bit. You can see how uh, how big they look in my mouth already. Um, I still don't like how the way they are designed, where they are uh, all the teeth kind of go forward a little bit, which um, makes me look like I'm from Planet of the Apes. Makes your mouth look really big. So they fall out really easy. So it's about time for a reline. I can't wait to um, get. Uh, my permanent set so I'm not um, using glue anymore the last couple of days I've been using glue and stuff and using glue on your top denture really sucks because you gotta peel off all this glue off the top of your mouth um, and it takes you about five minutes to get it off now I can pretty much um, without teeth I can pretty much eat anything um, I can eat ham. I can eat more things without my teeth in my mouth than I can with my teeth in my mouth right now. Um, I can eat hamburgers. Um, anything that's pretty much soft and chewed up, you can pretty much eat it. Hamburgers. Um, I can smash chips against my mouth. Um, only thing about smashing chips against your mouth so much, the rough ones, you will cause um, your gums to be irritated a little bit, rubbing against it. Um, but, but yeah. Um, if it's pretty soft enough, you can chew it, you can pretty much eat it. So don't worry about not having teeth if you can't eat anything. You can pretty much eat it. You can, you'd be surprised the stuff that you can eat without teeth. Um, so um, another thing is for guys, this is for guys. I don't know about women unless um, any women got hair in your face. Um, now when you're shaving your face without teeth, boy it's a struggle because all this is like loose skin. So, when you're trying to shave, and you're shaving like that, that skin just goes, 
it just doesn't work right. So you have to do this technique where you have to blow out your cheeks with air. Like that, just to shave. Because if you don't blow out air in your cheeks like that, shaving is a struggle. Because you're going to have to shave with your teeth then. And then, you know, sometimes your teeth might not fit right. You don't want to put your teeth in right away trying to get ready. So you have to blow out air in your cheeks to make your skin really hard and tough so the um the shave because right in here you don't have no teeth there and it's right on that gum line so um shaving is kind of kind of um it's kind of difficult if you ain't got teeth in um that's one thing um without having teeth other than that um I am getting better speaking without teeth in my mouth. Um, when you first get your teeth removed, you uh, it's kind of hard to even talk without teeth in your mouth. So um, it's even uh, a challenge to speak with teeth in your mouth. So um, pretty much, yeah. But I honestly like not even wearing my teeth. Um, it's more comfortable not wearing dentures than it is wearing dentures at this time you know so like most of my day like when i wear my teeth when i'm at work so i'm at i'm at work for eight hours and i get home and most of the day i don't even wear my teeth and when i'm on my day off i don't even wear my teeth and sometimes um it's funny because you'll wake up early in the morning to go somewhere to a store real quick and you'll forget that you don't even have teeth in your mouth because you're not used to um used to it yet you know even three months um doing the routine and stuff like that you'll get down the road and be like, oh crap, I forgot my teeth. Um, stuff like that happens to you and you just say, whatever it is, what it is, you're going to the store. But lucky for the COVID-19, you can wear a mask. Everybody's wearing a mask on their face nowadays. So if you forget your teeth at this time, just throw a mask on or something if you don't want to walk out like that or um, try not to talk to anybody. It's up to you. It is what it is. Uh, but there's been a couple of times like that. I go to um, Dunkin' Donuts and um, down the street from my house and... I'm like, crap, I don't have my teeth in my mouth, you know, so, um, it happens, um, let's see what time it is, well, I got an appointment at 8 o'clock, so, um, pretty much, yeah, your gums are healing up, I'll make this kind of short, your gums heal up pretty good after the three months mark, you can pretty much eat almost anything that you kind of want to with your teeth and without your teeth, if your teeth are, um, properly fitted and reline fitted correctly, um, you'll be okay, I'm going in here right now for this, and, um, other than that, pretty much, yeah. Um, other than that, the, um, dentist office is going good. I did have some billing issues with my insurance when they pulled out my teeth, um, after charging me the, like, almost three grand to pull all my teeth out. Um, just recently I got sent, like, a, like, almost a $200 bill for something that the insurance didn't cover. Um, I don't know quite don't really understand the codes that it didn't cover and why my insurance didn't cover some of my um my extractions um when it did cover it at first and now coming back that it didn't cover it and then send you a bill that's only about having insurance like then your insurance will cover it and then a week later two weeks later a month later you get a damn bill for like a hundred something dollars that the insurance couldn't cover didn't cover and it's kind of like makes you mad because every day or every month you go into the dentist's office either you owe 25 cent 45 cent a hundred dollars 50 bucks there's always something so you gotta watch out for that too um lucky for me i just have the uh four thousand dollar um credit care credit card that i've been paying on so i have the money to pay that bill because if you don't it's going to go to collections after so long uh, but all my rewinds are free so i'm gonna go in here and pretty much bitch about it pay the bill and just keep on moving on um with my life but that that's that's the way it is. That's the way it goes. So you got to be careful. So even though that you think that the insurance covers something at first, uh, be prepared for the insurance to reject some of the payments month two months down the road, saying that you owe them some money for something. Um, so whatever. Um, other than that, everything's been going pretty good. Um, um, I'm start oh yeah, I'm starting to gain a little bit more weight. I don't know if you can tell my face a little bit. Um, I'm gaining a little bit more weight. Um, I, I have stopped drinking the, uh, muscle milk because of the routine. I just gave up on the routine. Um, so it's been probably a month since I haven't drank any muscle milk. Um, there for a while I was getting really super tired and sleepy. I don't know why I was getting sleepy all the time. Um, uh, maybe because 
um, I went to a chat group and they said most likely due to how you're eating, um, you might not be eating the way you used to be or eating properly. Your diet might have changed, the reason why you're, you're tired, because I'll just be laying around the house and close my eyes and wake up, my eyes are like super matted and tired, like, like super tired all of a sudden. Um, I haven't been like that the last couple of days, but for the last month I've been really tired for some reason this month. So like your third month, you're going to be like tired for, for no reason. And and you have plenty of sleep, you're just not going to know why. So most likely it has to do with um, eating habits, um, not eating like I used to. Um, I did say, I, I think I remember I lost like 15 pounds in the first uh, month or two um, with getting your teeth pulled. And I think I gained back mostly all of that. So um, I was 150 when I started. I'm probably about 145 to 150, anywhere between that now. So it's taken me about three months um, through the whole process to almost get my weight back to where I was um, just doing stuff normally. So it takes a while to get your weight back and stuff like that too as well. Other than that, your teeth are healing up. You have a struggle with shaving. Um, you kind of start speaking a little bit better without your teeth. You pretty much eat a bunch of crap. Um, if there's anything I miss or anything that you want to know about um, at the three-month mark, just let me know. It's um, it's it's not a good journey and it's not a bad journey. Uh, some days you're going to have good days and some days you're going to have bad days. Um, would I prefer to have my real teeth back? Yeah, I probably would. Even though um, I wouldn't want my old nasty teeth back, but I would love just to have my natural teeth like I used to have when I was younger. Um, there's nothing like your natural teeth, trust me. I don't care what they take your teeth out and you think you're going to get dentures to look um, more prettier or better looking or whatnot. There's nothing, I don't think there's nothing in the world like natural teeth. Um, so... Uh, but it is what it is. You can't you can't um, dread the past. I've already did the procedure. I done pulled all my teeth out. There's no going back now, buddy. Um, so yeah. So there's some uh, things you're, you're gonna have. Some still you're still gonna have regrets. Even with bad teeth in your mouth, you're like shit. I had bad teeth. You know, pulling all your teeth out. Even with bad teeth, you're still gonna have regrets pulling your teeth out because it's like when you take your teeth from you. It's kind of like maybe somebody losing a leg or losing an arm or losing an eye or losing something in their body part. You know, they're going to, it's just like taking something for somebody, you know, like you're taking part of their body and from them, away from them. And so you're going to have that, have that, you know, that emotional takeaway from you, you know. Um, I guess losing your teeth is probably not as worse as losing an arm or eye or a leg or something like that. I'm sure them people who have missing body parts like that um, struggle a lot more than people without teeth. Um, losing your teeth is probably a uh, uh, pair to something like that is probably there's no comparison. But I'm just kind of trying to compare something like that like as in something being taken from your body um, that you're having. Um, so other than that um, everybody, thank you for watching my video. I know it's been about a month since I posted. Um, there for a while I was posted videos every day. Um, just so people can get the experience of what it's like the first, uh, 30 days to two months. I posted almost every single day. And now I'm kind of like posting once a month. So I can give you, um, um, like a month long, um, updates of processing and, and what it looks like down the road. So... Maybe next month I'll post another video and let y'all know where I'm at. Or if anything new comes up, I'll post a video again. Alright, thank you for watching, everybody. Y'all have a great day. It's probably almost 8 o'clock, so I better get in here. Talk to y'all later. Love y'all. See y'all later.